Oh, howdy all. Grab yourselves a beer. It is time for some Path of Exile discussion. Today, what I wanted to do is showcase how the elemental hit, tri-element, elemental equilibrium mine character that I've been, that our league started in the current league is going at the moment. This is about uh, day 10 or so of the Metamorph League. Uh, I'm, comf I'm currently level 92. I'm using a mixture of gear. Some of it is quite strong, like this Skin of the Loyal with plus two to the level of socketed projectile gems in my exact colors, uh, and Death Sopus, and some of it is absolute and utter trash. Anyways, what I wanted to do is just run a map and give a bit of a sense of what the character plays like and how effective it is. This is an 8 mod tier 14 map. Uh, you'll notice it's got a couple of mods that people really don't like running. Uh, increased Oh, sorry, zero regen is a pain in the ass for a lot of builds, and so this is something that'll be a lot of incoming damage. Because I'm playing pretty reckless, I could well die uh, while I'm doing this, and also pay attention to the fact that it's got 45% pack size. When I actually open this, that's going to be 54%, and the reason for that is that I'm running Awakening Level 7, which amps up the numeric effects of all map mods by 21%. So you can see here, 54% increased pack size. Uh, because I'm currently working on a Conqueror in this zone, uh, trying to get my 32 Watchstones at the moment, and there's no potential to re-sextant the map, but uh, definitely use your sextants when you can, because sextants feel amazing at the moment. Okay, I'm getting taunted by Drox the Warlord. This means that he's going to have a bunch of adds in here. Uh, there was a 1 in 3 chance when I ran this map that that would happen. So, the way that the, the playstyle works, you throw down a, a mine, and it will throw a cluster of mines. The reason it throws a cluster is because, not Blast Chain Mine, Charge Mine support here. Uh, sorry, no, not that one, it's uh, this one, Swift Assembly. So there is an 18% chance to throw one additional mine, 13% to throw two, and 6% to throw three additional ones. Uh, this is just a strong support gem, and so for that reason, uh, I'm definitely using it. I was using Minefield for a period as well. Uh, I find that the minefield gem, whilst it's, tech, it's slightly more damage on paper, uh, it's just not quite as safe to use as Swift Assembly. Swift Assembly is really fast. Oh, that's always interesting to get. One of the uh, incubators that gives a high level gem. Uh, because this is zero regen, I am absolutely required to use a... a yeah, I absolutely need to use a Mana Flask in here. I'm just generally using a Mana Flask all the time. That's Ice Nova and huge increased area. Notice there's 121% increased area of effect and that applies to the Ice Nova boxes. So you've got to be really careful with that at high Awakening levels. Uh, it's something that can really catch you off guard if you're used to going the exact length of those away. 121% increased area is actually only a couple of percent more radius than 100%. Uh, but a couple of percent can catch you out if you're uh, if you're not able to tank one of those hits, and I don't think I can. So at its core, I'm throwing a cluster of mines, uh, then setting off detonate. And against more resilient foes, uh, I'm taking advantage of elemental equilibrium because I'll hit them over and over again, and the first hit will uh, the first cluster that I set that I set off. So if I press the button just once. I'll throw one cluster of mines, and both of these will fire off the same element. So they were both lightning. I'll do it again. Fire. Again. Lightning. When I throw a lot down, uh, they alternate in accordance with elemental hit being unable to choose the same element twice in a row. Uh, they will fire off several different. Uh, they'll fire off. Uh, each element will be different to the one before, and this means that I'm likely to be inflicting all three elemental ailments on an enemy, so I will chill, ignite, and, sh and shock them. Uh, getting all these ailments together means that they're taking 30% more damage as a result of elemental hit's own uh, last line, 10% more, more damage per elemental ailment on the enemy. So that's significant. Here's a boss, so preload a lot of mines, and have a look, see where he is, Arbor of Norwich is there, and I'm cheesing this a bit. And there we go, that, that monster is dead. Lots of people messing around with trades. I've already taken off all of my um, maps before recording this. Uh, but then of course some people did start sending tells because the trade interface is a little bit out of date. 
or a little bit uh, behind the encounter guide the time I'm in so let's just go through and what we'll do is we'll set off the metamorph in this zone metamorphs are really dangerous as I think anyone that's been playing in this league will have a bit of a sense there's a whole bunch of the baronite mobs gee they can hit hard okay so at this point I've got access to a shrine I will definitely use that and have a quick look at what we've got in terms of options uh, we've got a liver Take the liver for sure. Currency is going to be the best option there. Currency, is there any of these? Yeah. I no longer need to fear, I used to have to fear the uh, region mobs. That gets me over the line, that will do. I'm still off, I'm able sometimes to just cheese a mob like that. Fight it from around a corner, that's one of the real strengths of mines. Despite how deadly that monster is, uh, it just wasn't able to hit me at all. In terms of gear, uh, as I mentioned, I'm using a Death Sopus. Uh, no actual functional gems in that. Currently they're just uh, heralds that are being leveled, except for uh, Smoke Mine, which failed to corrupt and so went back to level 19. Uh, Death's Opus was an amazing little thing that I figured out when I was leveling this character. I had the unupgraded version drop for me and I needed a new weapon so I was like, oh yeah, let's try it out. And I immediately noticed that the one additional arrow was a huge boost. Uh, then I had another look at the, at the item and realized that it had pretty much everything that the character needs. 100% crit multi is just amazing, especially given that I am both critical strikes and I am scaling a lot from ailments uh, because of elemental hits own mechanics. So for that reason, that was great. Additionally, the extra arrows were absolutely incredible when it came to, uh, to generating the ability to hit multiple enemies at once. Pretty much all of the most dangerous bosses in this league have a lot of ads. The only exception being the Conquerors of the Atlas themselves. Uh, given that the Metamorphs are the hardest bosses and not the Conquerors, uh, for that reason, I think, and they have lots of ads, at least once you get them down to 75% health. For that reason, uh, having all these extra things that you're, you can chain off is amazing. All in all, I've been very happy with how the build's been performing. Uh, it is extremely squishy at the moment. And part of that is just a fact that I'm using terrible gear still. And part of it is just that the character is squishy. In terms of changes from the original build, the first thing you might notice is that I picked up uh, Endless Munitions as an alternative to Fast and Deadly. I thought that I was going to use Blink Arrow more than I do, and so consequentially I overvalued Fast and Deadly. Uh, it is still a solid node, but Endless Munitions simply does more for the build. 50% increased area of effect actually does help with clearing because Elemental Hit explodes when it strikes an enemy, and that explosion is larger if the enemy is inflicted by an appropriate type of ailment. Uh, so that's a little bit meaningful. 200 accuracy is great, but skills firing an additional projectile. I really underestimated that when I was uh, designing the character, and so that's been fixed, and that has certainly improved the build overall. Additionally, uh, someone pointed out that I missed the Herbalism cluster. Herbalism's really good, and so I went and I fixed that, and I put Herbalism in. Uh, in terms of jewels, I've been looking for exactly what you see here. Life, mind throwing speed, and then just any other powerful mods that free up gear, uh, that free up stat pressure on gear. Uh, I'm looking to. I have two jewels that look a lot like this. One that I bought for 50 chaos. One that I bought for an exalt. And I'm looking to use Leo's slams on them uh, in order to pump them up further. Otherwise, the, tr the overall arching tree structure is exactly what you would have seen if you watched the build intro video, uh, with maybe one or two small changes along the way. Uh, if I do go further, I'm going uh, in terms of leveling beyond the current 92. Uh, then 94 picks me up a two two point jewel here, and if I go as far as 97, it's probably going to be Ash, Frost, and Storm. Although I'm not certain that that's what I'm going to do. Anyways, uh, if you've got any comments or questions, definitely fire away below. Uh, otherwise, this build has been a lot of fun to play. It certainly worked, but the absolute key, the two things that made it start to click when I was leveling it because I was really underwhelmed with the performance until a little bit after Cruel Lab. The two things that made it kick were uh, click were getting the original version of Death's Opus, the uh, Death's Harp, which is this 
has the same stats but only fires one additional arrow instead of two. That was the first big thing that made it better. And the second big thing that made it better was getting the Cruel Labyrinth done and picking up Ricochet. This let me have significantly better clear speed and clear speed means more XP per hour, means more loot per hour. Once you've got more loot per hour, you can start to you know, buy things like a 5 Exalt chest that's going to make the build better. Uh, or a 200 Chaos Upgrade Prophecy to turn your Deaths Harp into a Deaths Opus. At least that's the price when I got it. And then you, know, you can start fixing up all of the other bad gear that I've got uh, as you go from there. Comments or questions, fire away.